So, ang susunod ko pong kulay ay uh, purple or lila. Wala akong purple lila. Ito, ito. Ito yan. Yan, purple or lila. Yes, purple or lila. So, nung unang panahon, ang mga taong pwede lang magsuot ng purple or lila ay mga royalty. I think it's the process of dyeing all this uh, all this material, the clothing material. So, the only, only the royalty or the rich people can accommodate or can afford to buy purple clothing. So, today, in this, our new, this new world, ang ibig pong sabihin ng purple or lila ay power. Yep. When you have, um, when you have affinity to purple, mahilig po kayo sa purple, ay mahilig po kayong, you have power either through your money or through your, uh, station in life or your station at your work and you have royalty in you you have royal blood most most filipinos are royalty we came from royalty so dapat mga pilipino talaga mahilig ng purple or lila tapos i you also tend to be a very prestigious right it's all about the highfalutin the up there kind of people right and um and you also tend to have this charity feeling about you. You like to help others. So that's the benefit of having purple. Or people who have a tendency to like purple, they like to help others. They like to extend charity to everyone. Because they think that, hey, I'm powerful. I'm rich. I can do it all, right? So that's good. That's a good side of purple. What is the downside of purple? Downside of purple is, People are very egoistic and they always want to stand out. Medyo na, na, na feeling mo na ikaw na pinakamataas. <laughs> At <laughs> lahat sila ay nakababa sa'yo. They're all down there, but you're up there. So, medyo egoistic ka na. Medyo, uh, the power within you, the prestigiousness in you is really uh, absorbed into your body. And, and you're like, okay, I'm above and beyond everybody. So that's what purple is all about. So kayo, mahilig ba kayo sa purple? Minsan, pwede mong gamitin ang purple, lalo na kung nag-apply ka na sa nang job, di ba? Uh, you want to be like above the competition. So, mag pwede magsuot ka ng kaunting purple. A purple jacket, a purple top covered with a black jacket. That will be good. Or um, uh, a little bit of a purple ring. Yeah, like the stone ring. This is not purple actually. Uh, what is a purple ring? It's an amethyst. So a little bit of an earring with a purple stone. So that could give you the feeling of a little bit of uh, prestigiousness. A little bit of royalty. Right? So the next color that we're going to discuss is pink. Oh, I have no pink in me. Let's see. Yep, no pink. I forgot to get pink. I'm not sure why I do not have pink. So, pink or, hindi ko alam, Tagalog ang pink. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng pink? So, uh, pink, uh, people who likes pink have the feminine side. And they also childish. They like to be in that world where everything is so perfect, light, airy. So, yun po ang ibig sabihin ng pink. At um, kita mo sa mga Disney princess, laging nakalagay doon ay pink because it's uh, light-hearted. It makes you feel like you're light-hearted, right? It makes you feel like um, in a 2020 study, they said that pink colors make you really inspired. So, talagang ang mga bata pag nakita pink, oh, I want to be like her. Uh, or whatever the princess is, I want to be like her. <laughs> I want to be a princess with uh, who can help people. I want to be happy. Happy is usually yellow, but this is inspiring, right? Okay. And it also evokes uh, love to your family. So, kung gusto mo nga mga bata ay uh, mahaling kayo, ang pamilya nyo, mga grandma, grandpa, ang mga auntie at mga uncle, mahalin ang mga cousin in a, in a in a nice relational way, ay pwede kayo mag-introduce ng konting pink sa mga bedroom nila. Yung mga batang, mga 6, 7, 8 years old na mga babae. Pero para naman mga lalaki, paano natin may introduce sa mga bata ang, ang, um, ang pink? So, when my kids were little, I used to, I used to put these in their snack boxes. So, this is, this is, a, um, this is like a purple and a little bit of pink right there. So, you are out of this world, especially when they have like, Naka, naka 100 sila sa exam especially my son he always brings home that's nice 100% in exam so the next day I'm gonna put this right 
So even though he it has purple, which signifies prestigiousness and uh, really power authority, it has a little bit of green for, no, I'm sorry, this has a little bit of yellow for life and sunshine, right? And hopefulness. And then it has the pink, the love for family. So they would think that, okay, I'm not above and beyond everybody else. I still have to love my mom, my dad, my family. So that's it. It keeps them grounded. So, ma, madali po sila ma ground. So, yun po ang ibig sabihin ng pink. Now, I think my last color is gray. I'm not sure if I have any gray in my stuff. But gray, why do you choose gray? Gray, the people who like to choose gray are balanced and they don't want any attention directed to them. So, mga ganun po, gusto po nila maging invisible sa lahat ng mga nakit, sa lahat ng mga tao sa paligid nila. They don't want to be outstanding there. So, mga bata pong ito, kapag masyado ng mahilig mag-gray, eh, uh, medyo mahirap po, madidepress ang mga bata dahil, um, wala, gusto nila maging, wala makakita sa kanila. Maganda po ito kung ang bata ay binubuli ng iba mga tao. So, ah, uh, magigay magdi-disappear na lang sila sa they will disappear into the background so hindi sila makikita ng mga taong aggressive o mga batang aggressive so they tend to wear gray right so um gray is uh, signifies maturity so mga bata po na mahilig magsuot ng mga gray and they're mature na in their way of thinking and their emotional uh behavior okay and they also um, have justice and fairness in them. So, kung gusto niyo mga bata niyo ay medyo bully na, nagbubuli ng ibang mga tao, mga bata, and you can put a little gray into their uh, wardrobe, into their room. Pwede lang gray desk, gray backpacks. So, makakita nila na, na it ha it's good to be fair. Na maganda ang bata ay uh, hindi masyadong aggressive, hindi masyadong malikot. It's a little bit of a... Um, fairness in them, Mar medyo mahilig sila maging uh, a little bit, not calm, but a little bit uh, probably a little stoic <laughs> medyo hindi sila masyadong malok malikot, so ganun po ang ibig sabihin ng gray, right? but the thing about this gray is um, they try to hide their personal feelings, so medyo sinasarado nila mga feelings nila for everyone because uh, they want to be invisible so talagang lahat ng emotional uh, uh, needs nila ay medyo hinihinder nila tinatapos nila o binablock nila para to be fair that's what you do when you want to be fair you don't want to put your own judgment or your own own personal uh, personal attachment to the thing you want to be fair then you have to disregard it kung gusto niyo po maging fair ay di huwag mong iisipin yung ano makakaganda sa inyo but kung ano makakaganda sa kabuuan sa buong uh, klase o sa buong pamilya that's what it is kung gusto mo magkaroon ng gray so that's a, that's a downside of gray and the last color is my favorite brown why ito kay nito mm, sarap hmm, brown brown is like green when you think of brown it's about growing. Kita nyo ang kulay ng, ng soil. Katulad sa Pilipinas, maraming brown. It's like clay, sticky brown. Why? Because it promotes growing, promotes growth. So, it, it gives you life, right? And it is the the representation of earth. So, pag sinabi nyo pong brown, parang nire-represent ito, oh, this is the mother earth, right? This is what keeps me alive, what keeps me growing, my children growing, right? So, uh, ang, ibig, ang mga tao po na mahilig sa brown ay medyo responsible. So, these are the teachers. Kita po mga teachers sa Pilipinas, ang hilig nila mag-uniform ng kabataan ko. Puro brown. Brown, why? Dahil gusto ng, uh, gusto ng mga teacher na i-present sa mga bata na I'm responsible for your education while you're here at school. So, ikaw ay kailang kong alagaan, alagaan kong iyong edukasyon habang narito ka sa eskwelahan. Pag uwi mo sa bahay, that's gonna be your parents' responsibilities, right? So, pag uwi mo sa bahay, eh di, doon ka na sa mga magulang mo, di ba? Pero dito, I'm wearing my brown, I'm gonna be responsible for you. So, um, 
special hi to all my teachers back in the Philippines. Hey, ma magan Merry Christmas po at salamat po sa pagtulong na ginawa niyo sa akin para po ako'y maging estudyante at makarating sa ibang bansa, makapagtrabaho at matulungan ko po ang aking pamilya. So, yun pong ibig sabihin ng brand. You want to be responsible, you want to be reliable, you want to grow uh, the learning capacity or the learning abilities of kids, right? So, Paano po naman ang downside ng pagiging masyadong brown? Pagiging downside po naman ay you tend to be like um like in uh, gray. You tend to absorb everything. So lahat ng responsibilities, lahat ng all the burdens of the world, you just put them on your shoulders. So ang ibig sabihin niyon, madidepress ka masyadong madidepress ka dahil kung minsan masyado talagang heavy, hindi mo kaya. So anong gagawin mo? Put a little bit of a, a little sunshine, a little yellow, or put a little bit of a little red. Just do this to have you a little bit of heart rate. So sa Chinese po, ang ibig sabihin talaga ng brown, those who have browns in them, they, they're called earth people, they really are responsible. You will not be able to fight a fight with them. Why? They really are stable. They're grounded. Hindi <laughs> katulad ng green. Ang green, ang mga green, pagdating ng bagyo, pwedeng magiba, pwedeng bumagsak. Pero mga bundok, nako po, napakahirap. It will take years para mabuldoser natin lahat ng bundok at maraming tao at maraming pera ang kailangan natin gusto sin para mabuldose ang lahat ng, ng mga ng mga Earth people. So, kung gusto nyo, I will discuss it with you. Nung napag-aralan ko, my mom taught me all about this. Kung paano maga, uh, what is a metal person? What is a green person? A green person is a flower or a tree. What is uh, an earth person? An earth person could be like uh, a soil, right? Or it could be a mountain, right? At saka, ang ano naman po ang, ang mga water. Water could be an ocean or just a little raindrop. So, kung nagustuhan nyo po itong... Uh, Intong uh, palabas ko ngayon dito, just click uh, subscribe to my channel at magdadala pa po ako ng mga bagong kaalaman, psychological, a little bit of psychology, a little bit of a, uh, Chinese belief, a little bit of Filipino customs and traditions para po sa inyo lahat. I hope you like it. I'm Nis. Bye. Paalam po.